What's up again? Hey, what's up? So, um, I just finished recording my 3DS video. So, I just thought, why not do a twofer, right? And record my, the Giants draft picks. The pass draft that happened a month ago. I wanted to do it after, um, after the draft, but finals were a thing and classes were a thing. Now they're not, and I can do it now. And, um, yeah. So, why don't we get started? Because, um, I'm tired, and I actually wanted to make this video. So, let's do it now and knock it off, won't we? So, Giants had 11 draft picks. Um, we traded back in the second round, which I liked a lot, which gave us more draft capital for this year's draft. Um, which, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about. Um, we picked up... Thibodeau, Kayvon Thibodeau from, uh, from Oregon, and Evan Neal from Alabama at 5 and 7, respectively. And I think you know what my reaction is to that. So I'll just let that be. You guys can check my reactions out. I'll leave it in the description. Otherwise, uh, moving on. Uh, this was draft day, because I, I reacted to all of these picks. Um, not video, but you know what I mean. You know, you know what I mean. Um, this was more so a controversial pick for my case. Second, the second round we picked Wandale Robinson, wide receiver from Kentucky. Um, I, at first, I did not like the pick just due to the fact that we needed a corner and the second trade back with Atlanta, we could, I'm pretty sure we could have had Andrew Booth and I kind of wanted him because I, I wanted to prioritize corner over wide receiver because I thought we were doing fine at wide receiver considering we have four studs and some good backups. Well, good as in like, good as in like moderate. Um, but after watching his tape on like Twitter and YouTube, I'm like, this guy is another Kadarius Tony. And that's what his comparison was. It was Kadarius Tony. So I'm like, all right. Well, I mean, I'll take it, but I would have liked a corner in the second round. Um, but I'm not going to complain anymore. Um, I'm just going to trust Joe Shane and Dable and what they're doing. So do personally, do I like this pick? No. But will he be a good player for us? Yes, he will. That's my opinion on it i'm not gonna give anyone flack on it it's just like damn i the a corner was up there you know but it's whatever it's been made so yeah i'm 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 i want to see what he does on the field because he's like another human joystick and that's gonna be awesome to watch so it's it's a yes and a no well we'll see what happens in in september Next up, we had two third round picks. I'm reading this off of the Giants website. So yeah, I'm gonna put that in the description too. <laughs> um, we had Joshua Zudu, lineman from North Carolina. Um, I, I, I knew, I, I remember somebody, I remember somebody tweeted out that um, how many offensive players the Giants were gonna pick. And I, I thought six and I did, I did three linemen I did a running back and a tight end, maybe a wide receiver, which was Wandale Robinson. Um, but I nailed the park on three linemen, right? I Yeah, three linemen, three linemen. Smart, what can I say? Um, the third lineman we'll talk about in the other, in the other draft, in the other round. But right now we got a Zudu and I am happy with that. I, I want more linemen and not only that, um, I'll mention it when, when the other lineman comes in because they are a pair and that's huge actually. Um, but I like this pick. The lineman pick was amazing. Uh, I, I'll let it slide cause, um, I like it. Yeah. Um, our other third round pick was Cordell Flott cornerback from LSU and, um, yeah, I, I saw comparisons that this guy could be a starter, even though he's a slot corner. Um, I, I, I did like this pool. I, I did like this pick because we were in desperate need of a cornerback. But that was back then when we were, had speculations that we were going to trade Bradbury. Now we trade... No, I'm sorry. We didn't even trade Bar Bradbury. We let him go. We released him. And he 
signed with the Eagles. So yeah, um, that 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 was that was nice news to hear when I woke up. Anyways, I did like this cornerback pick. We do need cornerback depth. Um, we like. Um, next up in the fourth round, we have two picks. We got Daniel Bellinger, tight end from San Diego State. Uh, we were in desperate need of a tight end. I do like this pick because he was one of the top tight ends in this round. Or in this draft. Yeah, in this draft. Because there was uh, McBride from Ohio State. Um, and uh, Rucker from Ohio State. Wait, McBride from... No. Wow, I got this completely wrong. I know one of them was from Ohio State. Um, but, um, but I know he was one of the top tight ends in the draft and we got him and hopefully he is a replacement to Ingram because God he could not catch for the life of him but yes tight end was a desperate need so I'm fine with the tight end depth of Bellinger Ricky Seals Jones and Jordan Akins I love that tight end group as underrated as it is for me and that's me being biased but it's an okay group our second fourth round pick was Dane Belton, safety from Iowa. Um, I didn't... This... This was when I wanted a running back. Um, because I felt like we needed a third running back behind uh, Brita. Um, I, I really wanted James Cook, but he went to the Bills in the second round. I thought we were going to get him in the fourth in a mock draft that I did previously. That, that didn't happen. Otherwise, um, when I was prioritizing running back, I kind of forgot that Logan Ryan left. Or we, we I'm sorry, I'm sorry we, we released Logan Ryan. So um, our, our safeties are Love and McKinney. And this, this more, I just, I just can't remember because it's 2 a.m. But um, Belton... Belton was a good depth piece, and I, I, I don't, I haven't seen any tape on him. I've only heard that he was like a a diamond in the rough. Like he is a great pick for that for for the fourth round, and we just have to see. I I'm gonna check some tape on him and see if that if that's the case. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trust the the reporters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have three fifth round picks. Um. So, first up, we have Michael McFadden, linebacker, from Indiana. Excuse me. Um, so, we're, we're thin at linebacker, too. I know I know there's, uh, what's it called, Blake Crowder, um, Carter Coughlin. Yeah, we needed more linebackers. Um, because the ones we have now, we're, we're not going to suffice. But this, this, too, him, too, this was another diamond in the rough that I saw. Um, but you know, that can be, that can be anyone, but, um, I saw that he was like a steal at this round. So, and that, not only that, oh no, wait, no, that was in the seventh round, sorry, or in the sixth round, but, um, but hopefully he's a, like a good linebacker because we need more of those. We desperately need more of those because, because Blake's coming off of an ACL injury and T Crowder did okay the previous year, but they're not going to suffice. So I'm fine with this pick. I love this pick. Next up, DJ Davidson from uh, defensive tackle from Arizona State. Um, I uh, this is where I wanted a punter, believe it or not, because I know we have Jamie Gillen, who signed this year, but um, I kind of wanted some punting action, but um, we're we're gonna be good, I guess. But um, yeah, defensive tackle wasn't a a need that I saw up until I saw our roster, which has, I think, Moa, David Moa, and, um, hold on, excuse me, Moa, and, um, I think that was it, I could be lying, because I know we signed Danny Shelton to one year last year, and he's not on the team, I don't think so, I could be wrong, and we lost Austin Johnson to the Chargers. So we had, like, no defensive tackles. So this was a good pickup. This was a need. So I'm fine with this. Um, our other fifth-round pick, and our last fifth-round pick, was Marcus McKeithen from North Carolina. 
offensive lineman. Now, what I was saying with the third round pick, Zudu, um, these two were both guards. And believe it or not, I read that these were the same guards that managed to get Javante Williams and Michael Carter from the Jets. Well, I assume Michael running back from the Jets um, to to their uh, to where they were in North Carolina, um, and that's that's huge because they were beasts. They were both beasts in North Carolina when they before they got drafted. So having those two guards to help out Saquon and Matt Breida. That's that's great. That, those were two great pickups. I I that's why I like the third. I, I like Zudu and now when I when I saw McKeithen and draft day, I read that these two guards were the guards that helped out Williams and Carter. That that's great for the running game. So I'm fine with I I, I love the pick as soon as I read that. Um and our last pick, our sixth round pick, was uh Dar- Darian Beavers linebacker from uh, Cincinnati and he was part of that uh, championship team wait did Cincinnati win the no Cincinnati did Cincinnati I can't remember um no Cincinnati didn't Georgia won it I'm sorry Georgia won the the thing I don't pay attention to college football I just know that Cincinnati had a hell of a defense um but Darian Beavers um I know that the Eagles traded up because I was watching it at work um the Eagles traded up in front of the Giants to pick a linebacker. And that just threw me back to when they traded up to pick Devontae Smith and I had uh I had PTSD. But uh we're all good because I saw that this guy was another diamond in the rough. Diamond in the rough. So I'm fine with this pick. This was another need. He's a linebacker too. Um I'm fine with this pick. Hopefully he makes the team because I saw some tape of him and he was a beast. Still is. We'll see what happens in this in this upcoming season, but um, but yeah. Overall, other than that, Wandale Robinson pick. This was a great draft, but um, if you went, you know, I I don't have anything against Wandale Robinson. Like I said, it's just you know, you didn't really need a wide receiver at that pick. Kind of needed a corner, but we got flat, so it's fine. Overall, the Giants had a good draft. Honestly, stealing two two players that were off the charts the best players at their positions at one and at, i'm sorry at five and seven in the first round it's it's awesome um i'm excited for this for this season to see what happens um hopefully we get oh that's another video idea <laughs> we're gonna be doing this i'm gonna do a what's it called the win-loss record like i'm gonna do early win-loss and then before the season starts because so much can happen between that but um, but yeah, we're uh we're gonna do that. That's off topic though. Otherwise, the Giants had a really good draft. Me personally thinking because and that's just me like me being biased. Of course, I'm a Giants fan. But um, overall, people have been saying that these the Giants did have a good draft, and I'll give them like a, a an A minus B plus because they were it. It's just again that second round pick is what throws it off for me. But we'll see when the season comes. So, yeah. If you guys like this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever. You know, yeah. But, um, go Giants. Yeah.